Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I wanted to share a thought process that I have going on. As you guys know, the Google UX Career Certificate program or, or specialization just came out. It's on Coursera. It's a seven course uh, specialization, if, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And uh, it's supposed to replace um, a university degree. So Google said that they're gonna recognize it as um, almost like a replacement or the equivalent, I should say, of a four-year degree. And uh, there's a lot that could be said about that and, and I'm not gonna dive into that today, but I was thinking about three ways to approach this course, um, this course pathway that is a little unconventional maybe and maybe something that you didn't think about when you signed up. Um, so I'd love to hear your feedback on this. So the first one is the the idea of auditing the specialization. So when you go to sign up, uh, it basically says that you can sign up for free or you can have a seven day free trial, which is awesome. But what if you don't want to pay for the course? What if you can't afford it? What if you just, um, you're actually even currently it at a university or you've just finished a boot camp, or you, you've spent a lot of money in your UX education, so to speak, but you're still interested in the course, uh, you can audit it, but you can't audit it um, front facing. So when you go to the specialization, it doesn't give you that option. So what you have to do is go to the courses individually and one by one you can audit those courses. So that would be kind of like my first tip is to consider what if you just audit the courses? Um, you can get most of the, the content um, from that avenue. Uh, you won't be able to get your content graded, the things that you would want to turn in normally, um, but does that have to stop you from, from doing the assignments? No, so you can work on the projects and then maybe um, take your, your projects and, and give it to somebody um, that you really respect and look up to and maybe they can give you some feedback. Uh, whoever your your UX community is, your design community is, you can still get feedback on things that you do throughout the course and put together. So that's something that's, that's pretty interesting is to think about the audit course route. Again, it's not obvious how to do that up front. So if you go to each of the individual courses, you can you can audit. Um, a second thing that you could do, that maybe you haven't thought about, is to take the syllabi and the course description, kind of a copy and paste from each of the courses, put it in another document, and there's your curriculum guide. And you can kind of piece together and put together your, your curriculum. And, and you know, if, if Google is, uh, I know there's there's questions about you know the different motives behind why they, they put this together, but you know one of the ones that they have said is making design more accessible so people don't have to spend so much money um, or have a certain background to be able to access some of these careers and roles. So piecing together your design education is something that they seem to be supportive of. So what I'm thinking is use that as a guide. Every course description I was reading through it is, is nice and thorough. You know, signing up, looking at the syllabi as well. Um, really, really good move if you're wanting to maybe use that as a foundation. And then there's maybe certain line by line topics that you're you're thinking to yourself, you know, I wanna go, I wanna go deeper into that. I wanna dive deeper into that. Um, there's your outline. It's it's right there. You can you can piece it together. Um, a third thing that that I was thinking about was basically looking at the course but through the lens of an LX designer, so a learning experience design perspective, analyzing it from what is the experience like as a student. Um, I am an LX designer currently, um, as I as I'm recording this, and part of my role is to look at. Um, products K through 12 and look at the learning experience of them. Consider learning science, consider uh, pedagogy, consider you know instructional design best practices um, and, and molding that also, mixing that with UX design as well. So I'm really fascinated, not just for the, the content of the course, but looking at it from how do they approach teaching UX? Um, I'm in the process of, of planning to teach a UX course for high schools. Um, at the high school level, and and so I'm really excited to just to just look at it from yeah an LX perspective. How are they designing it for students? What is that experience like? So those are kind of my three little maybe unconventional thoughts there on how to approach this career certificate. Um, I 
I am not exactly sure how it would go if I were to sign up and um, pay for the, the full experience. So I won't be able to compare that. I'm sure there'll be lots of reviews out there on that. But what I am gonna do is audit the course. And I'm curious out there if any of you are doing the same, if you're finding that your experience is still really enriching. What is that like for you? Um, if you are uh, having a lens of LX learning experience, tell me what your thoughts are, your analysis on the, these course era classes where it's lots of videos. Um, how effective are they really? Um, and then, yeah, I'm also curious if you're piecing together your curriculum, if you are um, ad hocing your design education and, and piecing that together, I'm really curious how you're doing that. Um, I'm, I'm a former teacher, I taught middle school science, and I'm connected with a lot of other teachers. And something that I like to encourage teachers moving into product design is to, to at least explore. It might not be the best option. Everyone's path is different. Um, there's not one size fits all, but, but for a teacher especially, to at least explore the idea of, of teaching themselves, like piecing together their own curriculum. Um, I have some more thoughts on that. I'll, I'll leave an article in the description. Um, I kind of discuss that a little bit. And if, if you're curious about learning more about that or hearing more about that, let me know too. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But those are my initial thoughts on the Google UX career certificate. I'm really excited to look at it more and I'm curious about your thoughts. So let me know. See you soon.